Now that we've successfully installed the IVMS uh, 4500 app onto, in this case, our Android device, what we want to do is fully configure it to allow uh, remote viewing of a particular uh, DVR. And in this way, what we're actually going to do is we're going to put in an IP address. Uh, and the reason we were going to do this, even though it's a slightly more laborious than using QR codes, etc., is that um, it's a more secure way of doing it, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to tap the menu here and I am going to go to devices and uh, at that stage what I do is I simply come along and I am going to manually add a device here so I'll just go to plus here and manually adding and it just gives us here and I'll just give a name here so I'll just leap back here and I'll just call this uh, DVR1 okay and um, when it comes here to the thing, what we'll do is we've selected uh, the IP um, domain. So that's uh, correct for us. And now what we have to do is we have to actually come along and enter the address. So what we'd be doing here normally is we'd be entering a global um, address that's you know for external access on it. So we don't want to give away our um, uh, global IP address. So I'm going to set this up on an eternal IP address. And that's simply one that we're accessing directly over our local area network. So um, I'll just go 192. Um, dot. I'm just looking for the full stop there. It's here. So uh, 192, and then it's 168. So anybody who's local, used to local IP addresses would be very familiar with this. 68, so this is very much a default. It's only when it gets to the end, it gets specific. Um, dot 1. Uh, dot um, six four. Okay, so that's the address of the actual. Um, um, so that's the address of the actual DVR that's been allocated in our local area network here. So we've already, we'll say, come along and set up all the ports that to be available on our router, etc. And now we just need to come along here, and we're going to enter in our. Um, uh, user uh, name so it's admin and then we just click next and the password is the password that we would have set up on the DVR so the first time you turn on the DVR it'll prompt you to set up a password it's, got, it's gone away from the idea of having default passwords and that's simply because it's such a bad idea uh, for um, any DVR company to provide default passwords so, because it simply means a lot of people are lazy won't change them and then we'll say if you have DVRs that are going to get hacked something like that if everybody has the same password it certainly makes it a lot easier okay and uh, we'll just go next here uh, next, just bring us down. So the cameras, we can just leave it zero. And now what we can do is we can just save that here. And now what we can do is we can just start live viewing. And we can have here. So now over our local area network, we've gone directly in and we're just viewing that um, camera that we have set up. That's actually a reasonably long distance camera that's about uh, less than a meter from the wall, okay? But it gives a demonstration of how we can set this up. So you can see it's pretty straightforward on it. We have all the videos in the thing to cover the port forwarding, all the rest of it on it. There's simpler ways of doing it, but this is the best and most secure way of setting up your Hikvision DVR for remote viewing.